Hey guys, I don't know if y'all been watching, but uh, you know, I, I noticed everybody's watching this uh, "Pop the Balloon" or "Find Love" show. You know, I, I know it's like a phenomenon right now. Everybody's uh, uh, watching it, critiquing it, doing videos on it. You know, my my lady was watching it and then try to get me to watch it. I end up getting caught in it too, right? I end up getting caught into the hype too. But some of these ladies on here, man, it's like, damn, what? What are they really offering these guys that 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 really makes them feel like they should be picked or they should be the one? I, I don't know. But with that being said, look, I guess I'm gonna do a video too. Might as well. Everybody else doing it. Why can't I? Why can't I? I mean, I'm gonna let, let's. I ain't gotta say no more. Let's go to the video. Let's see what's. Let's see what all the hype's about. Right. Let's go. to another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And this time around, we've got the ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. Yes, I love it. You guys sound ready. So I am going to be bringing out some single men. They're going to be coming out one by one. When he comes around this corner, if he's your type, you're feeling him, you know, outfit is on point, whatever. He, you know, he says some good stuff that you love to hear. Do not pop your balloon. However, if there's any red flags, mm -hmm, Jill, she's already ready. She's ready to pop. <laughs> any red flags, anything you're not liking, go ahead and pop it. And then I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popping. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name is uh, Mawutin. Mawutin? Mawutin. Mawutin. It's Yoruba. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 27 years old, okay. and I also go by Moses. Got it, okay. It was given to me by a prophet seven days after my birth. Oh, okay. Yeah. So in this situation, do you prefer us to call you Moses? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and Moses, what do you do? Guys, already. Already, I just... It's gonna be a rough crowd, baby. It's gonna be a rough crowd. Ah. <laughs> so as I look, it looked like we got one, two, three, four ladies already popped the balloon. And the only thing the man said was his damn name. Now I don't know if it's maybe his outfit because his outfit does look a little questionable. But at least four ladies. Has popped the balloons. Tough crowd. <laughs> Let's see what goes on. Let's see what goes. Let's see what goes down. I am an aerospace engineer, and I'm also COO and co-founder of my own fitness tech startup that I'm building uh, cool. called Fit KO. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Well, I like to you know, hit the gym. You know, lift some weights. Uh, I also, I'm also learning boxing, you know, okay. to help with my startup and like biking, like video essays. I'm kind of nerdy like that, <laughs> where I like video essays about psychology, philosophy, stuff like that. Got and it. then after I'm done with all my responsibilities, you know, game for a little bit, okay. you know, board games with some friends, family. Oh, nice. Yeah. And now what are some things you look for in a woman? I really enjoy kindness, you know, someone I can feel comfortable around. You know, someone who doesn't take themselves too seriously, doesn't take life too seriously. And, you know, we can build together and be, you know, have passion, okay. you know, passion about our, our hobbies, uh, our careers, and just be happy, passionate people together. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'd have to say kids, but not like a direct deal breaker. I'd prefer not. Okay. Only because I didn't really grow up. I really grow up with like, you know, little cousins, little sisters, little, you know, so I feel like I'm not, you know, built for that, okay. <laughs> but I'm not, it's not, I'm not completely against. It. Okay. So you're, you don't want kids at all or oh, I just, do want you, kids. Okay. Yeah. You just don't want to date someone with kids. Yeah. Well, that's not a preference for right now. I see a little in, in my future okay. because right now I see myself, I'm like building my castle, you mm. know, mm -hmm. before I bring you know, my princess in, you know? Okay. All right. So we did get um, a few. So guys, <laughs> that 
Man said it's deal breakers kids and boy you lost you lost a couple more couple more participants. Now whether it's cause they got kids or not, I don't know. But more likely it is probably is when he say that he don't want kids right now, uh, he's deal breakers kids right now. That that's more likely these young ladies has kids and so they're kinda elim eliminated themselves out of because they knew. They bringing kids to the table. And this man, they say he didn't want no kids. He's saying the woman with kids that's not by him is a deal breaker. <laughs> hey, man. Man wants what he wants. You got to respect that. Let's keep it going. Pop balloons. Let's go on over to those ladies, see why they ended up popping. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's start right on over here with your name and age. Hi, my name is Jasmine. I'm 24. And Jasmine, what do you do? I'm a cosmetologist and I do fitness on the side. Okay. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, I um, I just waited a little bit just because I like to hear people out, yeah. you know. Um, but I do have two kids. Yeah. Okay. okay. Obviously, you know, you said the kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not a deal breaker per se, but, mm -hmm. you know. Got it. But she's someone that's your type. I'd say she's my type. She's very pretty, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, she's got a nice smile. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go on to our next lady over here. Your name and age? Uh, my name is Alexis. I'm 24. And Alexis, what do you do? I work for the state of Arizona. Very cool. So obviously, I don't know if you noticed, we do got twins here. Did you notice that? I noticed now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay. a, little, a little slow sometimes. <laughs> and Alexis, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just not physically attractive. Look, you're very handsome, but. Don't worry, I, yeah. I, I'll, I'll hold on to that compliment for at least 10 years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you said she's your type, and with them being twins, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't think I'm into people, you know, where their name starts with A. You know, okay. I'm, I'm completely joking. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good joke. Thank you. Let's go on to our next lady over here. Your name and age? Aliyah, and I'm 25. Aliyah, what do you do? I'm a cake decorator. Oh. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? It's just the overall aesthetic. I just don't feel like it matched my vibe. No. So that's just it. Oh, I'm, all, I'm lactose intolerant, so we couldn't get along. <laughs> that's fine as well. <laughs> Is Aliyah, I'm saying that right. Is she someone that you type? I like bright colors, you know, it really like pops. Mm -hmm. So I'd say so. Okay, uh -huh. thank you. <laughs> thank you. Let's go to our next lady here. Your name and age? I'm Asia, I'm 25. And Asia, what do you do? I do modeling, content creation, and I work with the black owned brands. Ooh. Yes. Cool. <laughs> and uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I love all your attributes, but just weren't my type. Yeah, fair, fair. Yeah. Okay. What makes them not really your type? Um, I would say the aesthetic. Okay. Yeah. What what is my aesthetic? I was going to say. It's just not for me. I like the aesthetic. I like the shirt. You know, I like how you put it all together. But I don't. I don't think it's for me. Mm. Yeah. It's just something. So I can't put my finger on uh, it. Yeah. Flat shoes. That might be it. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'll wear high heels next Please. time. Please. He's. He's. <laughs> These ladies are rough, boy. They not playing. My man, you ain't standing a chance, but I look here, dog. These socks, these shoes. That old Africans, man, you're gonna probably you probably gonna come out on the bad end of this, brother. I ain't gonna lie. That 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 outfit is just yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, you're going to need some help, brother. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. I'll enjoy that. <laughs> so what's, what, did you, what would you say is your aesthetic? Because you got that twice now. So they don't, I don't know. I'm kind it. of a dork. Okay. But like an endearing dork. You mm. know? Okay. You know? <laughs> you know, I can talk your head off about like some random topic. You know? Got it. You know, I, love, I love women who are yappers. So <laughs> that's like, that's my, my thing. A man called himself an endearing dork. 
Look here, but I, I give my man his credit. He got a sense of humor. He's got a sense of humor. He's got some corny jokes, man. You know, he's got a personality, so he's going to find somebody. Let me say that. He's going to find somebody because he, he seems like a good guy. You know, he might have to go through a few uh, uh, individuals in order to find them. And unfortunately, let me let me kind of keep it all the way. <laughs> he might have to go to the other side. <laughs> he might have to go get him a beautiful white woman. Because <laughs> I don't think these sisters are going to appreciate you, brother. I'm just, I'm just being honest. Uh, this ain't the show for you, brother. But let's keep it going. Let's see what happens, though. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Okay. Now, is she someone that's your type? Uh, hmm. I don't know. Models, they, you know, they, they got a lot of business prospects. They got to be flying in and out mm. places. I, I like someone who's a little closer. Okay. So I, I did I fly that. here, so I get it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go on over here. Your name and age. My name is Princess. I'm 23. And Princess, what do you do? Um, customer service and real estate. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Initially, it was the outfit that threw me off, okay. um, but I do have a daughter, so. Okay. And now is uh, Princess someone that's your type? I do like tattoos, you know. <laughs> I like art of any kind. I appreciate um, it. Honestly, I don't really have like a type type. Okay. Yeah, I had to get to know someone to really be close to them. Like that's that. why I like yappers. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's go over here. Your name and age. I'm Alex, I'm 25. And Alex, what do you do? I'm a data analyst. Oh. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, Maybe not this lifetime, maybe the next lifetime, next lifetime. when we're like butterflies and squirrels. You know, like if we got like got reincarnated. But this lifetime, Dang, it's not you, in God's plan. You yeah, you, you kept your balloon the longest. I thought. Yeah, I was trying to find a, some trying, razzle like, dazzle you're about trying to see you, the next but lifetime? it wasn't razzling or dazzling for no, me. razzling so. and dazzling. But you're very sweet, though. I'm somebody who will love you for who you are, but yeah, just not right. me. You know, I I love me, but it's Good. okay if you don't love me. Somebody will, uh, just, just not me. Eventually, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, she's someone that's your type. Uh, next question. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Let's go over <laughs> your name and age. Hi, I'm Taylor, and I'm 22. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I know where it's right now. She was coming at your neck. She was coming at your neck. And my man had to fight back. You got to get him back. Like Magic said, you got to get him back. Well, he, he had to get him back. How are you going to get him back? Sometimes silence is golden, baby. He said, next question. <laughs> I know that's right, though. I know that's right, brother. Do what you got to do, man. Do what you got to do. Taylor, what do you do? I'm a lash artist, so I do that full time. Yeah. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, it's the outfit. <laughs> I'm just not feeling it. Okay. And I don't know, the aesthetic too. Mm -hmm. It's not my type. <laughs> but isn't like aesthetic and like like the, outfit like the same thing? I mean, like the whole video gaming and like. Oh, I said that last. Dang, I should yeah. have. Yeah, well, that. I mean, you said like. After I'm done with my responsibilities. Yeah, you know, as a co founder. I'm just, mm, not feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, like, I think it's just physically like attraction. Yeah. <laughs> you can't change that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you said next question on that last one. Is she your type? Uh, I don't think it, anything in particular. All right. I prefer kindness. I guess kindness is my oh, type. Okay. Sorry. Uh, but <laughs> I'm just being honest. I mean, <laughs> all right, well, thank you. Let's go on to our last lady here. Your name and age? Paris, I'm 28. Paris, what do you do? I do property management, model, content creation, stuff like that. Yeah. Busy, yep. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I do see like a brother and like a homeboy. I'm gonna be honest. And the type of person I am, I have big mama energy and mm -hmm. I'm a big dominant. And 
Yeah. Yeah. I see. I I wish I understood what that meant. So <laughs> basically it's like I'm a person that like power mm-hmm. and I carry along like alpha men energy. Mm-hmm. I'm an alpha female that's also in tune with my divine feminine and masculine energy. So I'm somehow more confused, but I, I, I like I, I, I like I, I like long ex- explanations, you know. I like I like things that are, that are in depth, even if I have no idea what she's saying. But uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish. It's I'm just okay. saying. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and now is she someone that she, she's your type? If you saw her out, would you approach her? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess the dominant aura would just keep me away. I'd be like, oh, oh god. And I, I I get a little scared, you okay. know. But <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's head on back this way. So that is all of the balloons popped, unfortunately. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. Have fun. <laughs> nice to meet y'all. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know much more I can say about that. It was it was so crazy. It was the interaction. As soon as he came out, I knew. I said, "Yeah, he ain't gonna make it." I'm surprised every last one of them didn't, didn't pop up as soon as he walked out. Once they seen how short he was, I'm surprised. You know, you had a couple of them hold on, but once they started answering more questions, they started, I guess, started thinking about it. They're like, yeah, this ain't going to work. <laughs> said, this ain't going to work for me. But with that being said, hey, guys, I'm going to continue to do these uh, reaction shows on this. I, I, I think. I think I am. I think I am. Uh, yeah, I, I felt bad for my man on, on the real on the real tip. Yeah, it was bad for my man. Maybe next time, brother. Maybe you can continue your adventure out there. You can find you a a short queen that's gonna appreciate you and respect you for all five six of you. <laughs> With that being said, I catch y'all the next one, guys. <laughs>